Hello and welcome back to the grind to a thousand elo. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. My elo slipped back into the 600s. I'm on a little bit of a losing streak at the moment. So things are looking a little bit grim. Let's take a look at the completed games. These were some games with viewers. But uh, yeah, I'm on a bit of a losing streak. So I'm uh, going to try to redeem myself today. Had to resign a game last night because of a crying baby. It happens. Not how I want to lose, but you know, what can you do? Is this queen going to come out? No, it does not. Is this queen going to come out to h5? I'm willing to trade the knight for the bishop there. Totally fine. The engine's gonna love me for that one. Absolutely love me. Really quick shout out to everyone who's watched the videos lately. It's uh, pretty awesome. And thanks to the one viewer that told me that the um, about the show moves button in the game review. I'm just realizing now that I really don't use that enough. So that's that's pretty neat. Let's see, I can take here and then go for the queen trade. I'm not going to do that. He's got three attackers on d5. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm just going to go for the queen. Well... I probably should go for the queen trade. But he's protecting it with the knight on c3. Well, actually, never mind. He has the rook there as well. I think this is fine. I think I'd rather get the rook out. I wonder if I should use the bishop. Or the rook. I'm going to say rook. I'm going to put him on the open file. On the open d file there. We're even. I've castled. He still hasn't castled. Probably will be worth something. Okay, there he goes. And we just got to figure out how to win. I just start clearing out his pawns on the second rank. I don't know. I wonder if I should just trade here. Well, I don't necessarily want to trade. He's up, up in pieces. He doesn't have any bishops, so I don't have to worry about the diagonals too much, I don't think. I don't really want to give him the pawn, though. Bishop d6. On C6. He has a free capture here, and then he has a, a fork on the bishop and the rook. So probably not there. If I go bishop f6, he can take. Then he can. But then I'll recapture. Well, no. 
I'll try it. If he jumps, I'll do this type of thing. Or actually, I'll just protect uh, c7 there with the bishop. If he jumps his uh, knight on e5. Okay, that was expected. This. Eight. That's really rough. Okay, how do I defend this? I am just getting knighted. And my rooks are just in the worst possible spot here. Maybe I just start getting aggressive. Maybe I'm playing too passive. Maybe I have to start doing something. Oh, that coming. I'll go here. Seems open. He has checkmate here. I'm going to have to move to... Yeah, if he goes e6, I have checkmate. Then I have to run to f8. Maybe I'll go d4. He decides to go here. f6 is protected. If he tries to check me, I really don't want to lose to uh, checkmate from the knights. I think I have to do this. Trade here. Is trading a bad idea? Maybe this was not the play. After all. <laughs> Oh boy. That was definitely not the play, I'll admit. <laughs> I have to move my A2 rook now. Yeah, I'm not playing very good, huh? Oh, rough game. Rough losing streak, I... I was on such a hot streak there for a minute. Bishop to f2 probably wasn't the play, now that I look at it. Okay, figured. He can capture either way. Just made really bad pawns. He can go here. Okay. Probably f8. Just... 
I have a pretty sweet fork here. This seems like a really good move. I'd probably push back. Either way, uh, I'm going to gain some material here. That's nice. Hoping he doesn't see this one. A trade. You guys are taking his pawns. Oh, he has. Okay, so I have to protect. Oh, that's protected. He can take that if he wants. Take his pawns and. Maybe I go queen or a uh, king. Okay. B six is nice. What is the move? What is the move? Oops. Probably should have jumped that two squares. Oh, I guess I should have just captured there. Yeah, I should have captured and then taken his uh, his pawn there. Yeah, rough, rough. So far, so good. Uh, yikes. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, that's a bad play. Oh, boy. We're in trouble. Um, I think it's pretty much over. I wasn't really sure what to do there. I'm going to play for a stalemate. I think this is stalemateable. This seems like a stalemate game. Yo. Rough. rough. Absolutely rough. This is a brutal beating. I mess up. I need to figure out where I messed up there. I had such an advantage and I feel like I threw it out the window. Well, no, I didn't really have that much of an advantage. I feel like it was pretty even. Or is that GG? Yeah. Nice. 
GG. Let's figure out where we went wrong, huh? I played at 70% accuracy. He played at 72. It was fairly even in the middle there. He had a big advantage kind of in the beginning of the beginning of the middle game. And then he had tons of mates. Okay, what was my worst move there? I know I went wrong somewhere. Okay, so engine wanted me to push. Push, take. Let's see. Let's play that over. On d5, takes, okay, I see, and then queen could capture d5, that makes sense. Okay, capturing with the bishop there was the right move, that's good. Pushing the pawn was the pawn. Capturing bishop was the right move there. Yeah, I wasn't quite so sure about pawn takes e5. So I should have just... So he should have taken my queen, but I should have taken his queen. So castle was not the play there. Seems like it kind of worked out because I just recaptured it with the rook and got to develop the rook. I wasn't quite sure what to do at this point. I really wanted to move the bishop out to d7, but it was guarded. Let's push the old play show moves button. Okay, so that would have forced him to jump. Let's see. Okay, we wouldn't have played that line, let's be honest. <laughs> Yeah, and then he just came in with a bunch of crazy forks on my rooks. Honestly, I think this move was where it fell apart for me. Not moving the pawn to f7. I remember thinking, I was like, he didn't have any bishops. So it probably would have been okay to expose the diagonal for the king this way. I mean, realistically, he may have gone here. No, he wouldn't have gone c6 because then I would just take his knight. Yeah, so this would have kicked him back. Okay, so new rule. Oh, right. And then f6 was protected by the bishop as well. Yeah, this is where I struggled a lot because I wasn't... There seemed like there was a lot of options here. There was pawn pushes c6. The engine likes bishop on b7. Hmm. He wouldn't have done that. I don't think he would have done that. I think he... Let's go back to that. If I was to go bishop b7, I'm pretty sure he would have just taken with his knight on c7 and just forked this. I don't, I don't think he would have played rook uh, d1 there. That's the thing about the game reviews, it sort of assumes that your opponent plays the best lines, which at this rating, obviously, most people don't. I want to see bishop b7 again. The show moves is a little bit confusing because and have to like do it on your opponent's last turn. Let's just watch this line either case. 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, moving the bishop to c7 there, it feels really unnatural because it's pretty obvious that he would have just captured on c7. So that one's a bit confusing there. But in either case. Yeah, this move feels... Uh, capturing the knight on e5 feels really unnatural because if you leave the rook there, he's just going to take and then can basically just escape back on c7. But I was, I was going to lose a rook either way from his knight forks. So I guess that makes sense, though, because since I moved here, it was almost guaranteed that he was going to move to c6, and then I was going to lose a rook either way. Uh, I just pushed the wrong button. So I suppose it sort of mitigates like a risk in that way. And then, let's see, and he can always escape. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense now. That's a really hard move to find. It sort of assumes that your opponent's going to play the absolute perfect move. But in reality, he'd probably play the human move, which was capturing the pawn on c7. Bit of an interesting line. This was a really good move by him. I definitely ignored this threat. I don't know if he thought this through or it just happened by accident. But this was a really big threat here that I didn't know how to deal with. Yeah, I sort of just went into like aggressive kamikaze mode here, hoping to make some progress removing his pieces on his side of the board. But looking back on it, this would have mitigated one of the rooks being taken. And then I could always capture back the knight if he went there. Because d8 was protected. So that makes sense. Hmm. I wonder if that would have given me much of an advantage. Oh, he, I don't think he would have jumped there. I don't think he would have jumped his knight to b5. I think he would have just captured here. I think he was out for rook blood, and he was going to taste it no matter what. I don't think he was so committed to keeping his knights there. Sure. Okay, so that would have been... Yeah, definitely didn't see that. I think I was... <laughs> I think I was capturing here just out of spite on his second rank. <laughs> and not really playing level-headed. Level-headedly. Bishop captures f2. This probably threw the game away for me. It really wanted me to recapture there, huh? Interesting. See, I didn't want to I didn't want to take there because I just didn't see myself winning with a bishop against a rook and two knights. I just didn't think that was going to be possible. So I wanted to at least try to do something with the bishop. I think it was all ogre after this move. After bishop takes on f2, I think it was all over for me at that point. Well, where where was the worst move? Honestly, I feel like this pawn move, instead of this attack here on the knight, that's probably where the game fell apart for me. So, definitely something to think about. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on in this review. A lot of things I didn't do right in this game, but um, yeah, there was a lot to learn here, so it was a fun game either way.
Well, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next game.